Hello, I'm Michelle Smith, Senior Consultant with CBA, and today I'm going to share a quick P6 tip to help you save time when working in your project schedule. Today we're talking about the fill down option. Fill down allows you to make or change activity code assignments and even P6 data for multiple activities at the same time. We're going to illustrate this feature today with activity code assignments first. Now if you're a P6 user, you already know how important activity codes are in the program. They allow you to filter and organize activities and are really the vehicle for getting the layouts and reports that you need. But while these codes are super powerful, they can also be a real pain to assign to activities, especially if you've got a meaty schedule with a lot of activities and you're using this codes detail tab here. Well, that's where fill down saves the day. To use fill down, you simply need to bring in a column that represents the activity code that you're going to be assigning. And here I brought in the department column into my layout. Directly in that column, you can select into the source field, that's the one with the orange frame around it, and in that field, you'll be able to select and make an assignment for that value. So here we've got the construction department, and now we've assigned that value to our uh, activity here in the HVAC grouping band. So that already is faster than using the activity codes detail tab down below, but it's not as efficient as fill down. With fill down, let's say I want this construction value to be copied into the rest of the activities in this section of work. I can select my shift key and highlight all the activities in this HVAC grouping band. I could actually cross grouping bands if I wanted to. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to leave it in this section. But the main thing to remember is to stay within the column, this department column, uh, where your highlight finishes. So here I have my source field or this orange frame around that last field in that column. With my activity selected, I'm going to right mouse click and choose fill down. So that quickly, all of these activities are now assigned to the construction department. Now you can use this fill down option for non-consecutive activities too, and to change assignments. Let's say for example, this second activity, I want that to be the purchasing department. So I'll change the value for at least one of the activities, change that to purchasing, and now I'm going to select multiple activities, only not in sequential order. I'm going to use the control key and hold that down and then select these activities. Do you see here? I can even select activities above my highlighted option initially. And so again, I stop at the field in the column for the activity code on my last activity for which I want that value to be copied into. Now if I right mouse click, I can choose fill down and now I've just assigned those activities the purchasing department code. So it's really great with activity code assignments, but another thing that fill down is great for is for just changing standard P6 data. For example, you can see that I've brought in a column for calendar into my schedule. Let's say that our project is slipping and for this series of activities here in HVAC that we need to work on a six day work week calendar in order to make up some time. So we could select the general tab for each activity and change the calendar assignment, we'll say in the long way on that tab using this activity calendar field here. Or if we use the fill down option, we can select into the column for the first activity for calendar. I can select my six day work week calendar. And then if it's for all activities, I can hold down my shift key and select the last item. I could do the control click. And again, I could cross multiple grouping bands if I wanted to. But once I've selected all of the activities for which I want the six day work week calendar assigned, I'll right mouse click. And again, choose the fill down option. And that quickly, all of those activities are now assigned the six day work week. Now, if I had automatic scheduling on, I would see the results of that date wise right away. If I didn't, I'd have to recalculate my schedule then to be able to see where my new dates land. Okay, super powerful. That's fill down, a quick and easy way to streamline assigning activity code values or changing field data in P6 for multiple activities at the same time. Well, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more tips like this, visit our CBA blog at cbaprojectconnection.com. And if you'd like to learn more about our in-person instructor-led courses, 
visit our website at cbainc.com. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep calm and schedule on.